one reason employees cite for leaving their current position is a negative relationship with their manager. How can we improve those relationships, either as the manager or as the direct report? We start by understanding the role emotions play in our interactions in the workplace. Emotions play a key role in our ability to make decisions, build teams, and work productively toward our goals. Here are two key strategies you can start with today to help you better navigate emotions in the workplace. First, if you can name it, you can tame it. If you can identify that you're having an emotional response and take a moment to reflect on that emotion, you can better control your reaction. That might mean waiting to reply to an email, respectfully walking away from a meeting to think, or even just taking a few deep breaths to process before you respond. Second, don't jump to conclusions about someone else's emotions. If you recognize the signs of a strong emotional reaction in a coworker, privately ask questions to try to understand. Start with observations about behavior like, I noticed you're a little bit tense and not making eye contact. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're feeling? That allows them to connect the emotion to the behavior. If they can name it, they can tame it. Again, two key tips for mastering emotions in the workplace. One, reflect. If you can name your emotion, you can tame it. And two, don't jump to conclusions about another's emotional response, but work on understanding the other person's feelings through inquiry.